Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight, here to do your February 2019 general reading. This is Insight to Your Secret Message. So welcome and thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. This is going to be an intro. So if you're not interested in watching that or you are a recurring um, viewer, I will put a timestamp so you can go directly to the reading. So if you are a new viewer, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. You enjoy the reading. If you like how I read, please subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll see the little bell that will show up. You hit that for notifications of when I post new readings. Um, like the videos. That's the only way they will get circulated around YouTube is if you like them. So please do like them so that they can get circulated and the people that need to hear and see these messages can hear and see them so that we greatly appreciate it. If this does resonate in any way, please comment as I love to read the comments and I do reply to all the comments. Um, share, share social media, share with your friends, family, feel free to share to your heart's content. Um, you can check the description box below for the decks I'm using. My email is there if you're interested in a personal reading. I do offer personal readings, private readings, and you will receive, um, if you order a reading or you want a reading, I will do it on video and you'll receive your own private YouTube link, which, was, which will only be viewable to you, which you can watch on YouTube indefinitely. So you can email me if you want to set that up. I also have my Etsy page there. I have a variety of listings on my Etsy page. If you wish to purchase a reading from there, my PayPal link is there. If you just would like to donate or tip, that is great, greatly appreciated. Uh, no amount is too small to help keep these free readings going as it does take a lot of time and energy on my part, but it's something I truly love to do for you guys. So if you would like to do that and you have a PayPal account, you just hit my link. It'll bring you to the page. You type in any amount. I think you might be able to leave a little note there and then you just send it. So that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support, your likes, your shares. To all my clients who have purchased private readings, thank you so much. It's been very helpful to them. Uh, keep in mind this may or may not resonate some parts may some parts may not so please keep that in mind I always say take what resonates and throw away what doesn't we may pick up energies of past present or future so it could be something you've already gone through in your life something you're going through now something that could happen in the future this does not resonate at all you could come back in a year and it may resonate then so all my readings on my playlist are timeless even though some may be dated, if you're drawn to the title, I say watch it and ignore the date because whenever you are meant to see it is when you are meant to see it. So feel free to browse through my videos. Uh, if you know your chart, your natal chart, you can watch readings on other signs in your chart, specifically your moon sign, your rising sign, your Jupiter sign, and for love, your Venus sign. Uh, cross watches are welcome. So if you're somebody dealing with a Sagittarius and you're watching a reading for them to see what they're going through, this may end up turning out to be for you. So it can go vice versa. So if you know you're cross watching, you may read and go, "Wow, that's more for me." Then that's probably how it's meant to be. Uh, you can always, if you are a Sagittarius, you can watch your person's or your person of interest signs readings. Also, um, and I think that's about it. Okay, so I will timestamp this and we'll get directly to the reading. So Sagittarius, this is your general reading for February 2019, Insight to Your Secret Message. I have the Barbary Zodiac Oracle here. All the decks have been pre-shuffled off camera and cut and meditated on. 
and I asked Spirit to solely let it be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So with this Barbary Zodiac Oracle, we are going to pull, see what Spirit wants to pull. Wow, Spirit's making a mess out of these. Um, we may get an energy, a planet, a fellow sign to see who may, who some of you may be dealing with. And if you're not dealing with whatever energy sign comes out, that is totally fine. Like I said, throw away what does not resonate and keep what does. So if you're not dealing with this sign or energy, that is fine. So Spirit, please, can we have one card? And I think that's your card there, Sagittarius. Let's see what we got. Jupiter. Jupiter. Okay. I'm going to read a little bit about Jupiter because I'm not an astrologist. And I just noticed that Jupiter, 1, 8 equals 9. And you Sagittarius here, 9. So that's significant in some way. So that card is definitely meant for you. And let's say what Jupiter has to say for you guys. Jupiter is associated with the Roman god Jupiter, ruler of heaven and earth, thought of as a fair and just protector. Jupiter is often thought of as the planet of luck and expansion, the desire to understand the bigger picture, to prosper and to experience joy are a big part of Jupiter's influence. Optimism, faith, and spirituality play roles in these issues optimism faith and spirituality so maybe you guys have to maybe feeling a little down on your luck right now but need to stay optimistic maybe so we're gonna see how that plays into your reading I have the uh, wisdom of the Oracle here by Colette Baron Reed and this is going to be where we will get your message your secret message from for your general reading for February 2019, Spirit, please. General reading for the sign of Sagittarius for February 2019. What do they need to know? What is their message for this month? What is this optimism about? This faith, this joy? Okay, so can we have one card? For the sign of Sagittarius for February 2019. For the general collective watching my channel, what is their message? What do they need to know? Spirit, please. We have one card. There we go. There's your card. We have Unfinished Symphony, which is number 10. And tens are, in the tarot, ten means completion. There's a completion of something. So there can be a new beginning. So let me read a little bit about what unfinished symphony means in the book here. See, there's a message in here for you guys. Okay. Unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, the need to make amends. The Oracle's message, this is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle. Wow. <laughs> and I had just said tens are about completions of cycles, so there can be a new beginning. Wow. Completion of a cycle or project in mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur. And the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. This relationship message there, but I don't want this to be about love. So let's see. Prosperity message. Make sure you complete projects now before starting new ones. Perhaps you have created something special that will increase your sense of abundance and bring you opportunities for wealth. However, if you don't see it through, it won't add up to anything but more than clutter. Now is the time to put your nose to the grindstone and complete the tasks that have accumulated. Pay your bills, sign the documents, do your filing, hand in assignment, 
hand in an assignment, complete a work of art, tie up loose ends so you can move forward with surety, knowing you're on the prosperous path and feeling refreshed and excited about the future. So, tying up loose ends, bringing closure so things can end on a high note so you can have this prosperity you are seeking so um let's see I'm trying to figure out how i want to say this i'm very tired today so sorry um definitely if you have any ideas in mind something you want to embark on i say if you start it finish it finish that symphony don't leave it unfinished complete it with 10 there completion I just noticed nine, ten. So it's like progression. Okay, so this is the Tarot of Dreams by Charo Machetti. And we're going to get about eight tarot cards here to clarify your situation. For you Sagittarius. So Spirit can have eight cards of clarity for the sign of Sagittarius. For the general reading for February 2019, for the general collective watching my channel, please, Spirit, what do you need to know? It's a big deck, so I'll do it this way. And we got one already. Six of Wands. Wow, this is victory. So this is telling me this is definitely fire energy. Wands of fire energy. Leo Sagittarius. Victory. It's saying here, whatever you set forth on. You must complete it to have victory. So whatever you're thinking about doing, if you're thinking about a creative project, if you're thinking about moving forward in your career, um, anything in your life, it's saying start it, finish, don't leave it unfinished. Stay optimistic and have faith. And this is the victory card. You will be victorious. Okay, so can we have more cards yet, please? Feeling that one. Ten of Cups. Wow, this is water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this talks about happy home, family, um, abundance, growth, expansion. So this is definitely being in, in an happy place. I feel once you set forth on whatever it is you're thinking about doing, whatever it is for you, you will be victorious and it will leave you in a much better, happier place. There'll be more, like I said, growth, expansion, happiness, and joy, which was also in the Jupiter energy. Okay, that well, I guess we're taking that one. Let's see. Four of coins. So I feel right now this is Earth energy now, Virgo, um, Taurus, Capricorn. Pentacles are about monetary material. I feel like maybe you're a little bit worried or you don't have the, um, worried you're not going to have the financial abundance to move forward or the financial, um, assets right now to move forward and what you you really want to do maybe you're really holding on to every penny right now with the four of coins it's almost like you're holding back a little bit holding on like you're not really moving forward you're kind of staying stuck the four of uh, coins energy okay Let's see what else we have Wow, okay, that's four. Oh, that's way too many. Way too many. Okay. Wow, okay. So we have the Palace of Swords, Swords Air Energy. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Swords are about truth, communication, clarity, uh, conversation. So I feel like, hmm. Like, you want to live out your truth. You want to be true to yourself. The Palace of Swords is, um, 
It can be a home environment. It can be any kind of a structure, a workplace, building structure, anything like that. But you just want it to be truthful, honest, true to you, true to yourself. You want it to, to be in a place of honesty and truth within yourself and where you are in your life. And then you have the Ten of Coins. So this again is, you got two tens here. So the Ten of Coins is also speaks about total abundance, total wealth, total prosperity, growth, expansion, home, family, stability. This is also can represent the marriage card. So you have two tens here of complete home, happy, happiness, family, wealth, prosperity, growth, expansion. But there's holding back, but there is victory. And has to, has to come from a place of truth, clarity within yourself, for yourself. I feel like you're holding back, but it's like you know what your true intentions are. You know what you want to do. You know what you need to do to move forward. You see the truth and clarity, but you're still kind of holding back. Okay, my cards just went flying on the floor. Three more cards for the sign of Sagittarius. Wow. And I think that's three. So, you know, you ask, you shall receive. Ace of Coins. Wow, this is a brand new beginning. This is from the hand of God. It's divinely guided. It's material. It's monetary. So what it, I feel like it's very career orientated. So whatever you're seeking out to do, but you're holding back from, you have this new beginning of prosperity, growth, and abundance waiting for you. Here's the beginning, and here's the the beginning all the way to the ten. Wow. And then you have the King of Swords. Like I said, you want to live out your truth, your clarity, being true to yourself. King of Swords uh, can be Gemini energy, um, but doesn't have to be. But this is someone who very much is very truthful, honest, speaks his truth, stands his ground, doesn't take any bullshit, um, speaks with truth and clarity, stands up for himself, Knows when to cut ties with the swords there. Knows when to cut things out of his life that are no longer serving him. Break, breaking free from those ties that bind so there can be this new beginning of growth and expansion. That goes from ace and bam all the way to ten. Which is the total growth, expansion, happiness, joy, foundation, stability and growth. Wow, no, wow. Now you have the Palace of Coins. You have the Palace of Coins and the Palace of Swords. This is like a mansion. So, I mean, think of all, if you move forward in this endeavor, think of all the prosperity and growth you can have here with the Palace of Coins. Wow. Total, total abundance awaits here. But I feel like you just have to step up to the plate within yourself and step into your truth and clarity and step forward in your life and your truths and move on so you can have this total happiness, fulfillment, new beginning, victory, success, expansion and growth, prosperity, abundance. Wow. But you can't leave it unfinished. You have to stay optimistic and continue on. Wow. And then you have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Coins and the Ace of Cups. Two brand new beginnings. 
tens usually mean completion. So whether you're coming out of a marriage situation and going into a brand new beginning or um, or even maybe leaving one job, going into another job, a new career, leaving one career, going into another career, because you got the 10 here. You got the 10 of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So you be, could be coming out of something, going into something brand new, or starting something brand new that's going to go complete full circle for you. Same thing with the 10 of cups. Could be just your self-worth, your self-love. Or it could be a brand new beginning, coming out of something with someone and having a brand new beginning with someone else. Or you've just met somebody and now it's come, it's full circle, and now you are complete in your happy home and family environment. Let's see what's under the ace. Two of Cups. So this is two people coming together as one. It's kind of like a soulmate card. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And then you get the Queen of Cups, which is definitely a water sign there. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or this just could be someone that you know that is very loving, very um, open and honest and nurturing. Could be a soulmate energy here coming together as one. And then you have the brand new beginning. Could be... Aces indicate brand new. It doesn't mean someone you're already with or somebody or renewing something with somebody. Usually that's not what it means. This usually means brand new. And then you have this coming together with somebody brand new. And then you have this person who is very loving, caring, nurturing. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It can just be the energy. And then you get the queen of coins right under that. So this is someone who's very stable, secure, and grounded, who's smart, who's uh, abundant, stable, and secure, and well-grounded. She's done her hard work. She makes her money, but she's very loving, caring, and nurturing. Could be someone you're coming together with. New beginning here. Could be a new career opportunity here. Could be new love and new career. Wow. However it resonates for you, it could be just you knowing your self-worth, your self-love, and having a renewed love for yourself, coming, you know, together, you know, loving yourself and being more stable and grounded. Once you complete this symphony and you have this abundance, then you're going to, king or queen, be in this energy of king or queen of coin, king or queen of coins. So however, however this resonates for some people, but we have all the signs here. There aren't any major arcana. You have no major arcana here. So I feel like maybe you're taking baby steps, small steps, you're slowly, gra gradually moving on into a new transition in life maybe. It's a very long symphony that's not finished yet, but you're staying optimistic. You're having faith. So let's see what's on the bottom of the oracle for extra guidance for you, Sagittarius. And we have Yang. One. One, again, with the new beginnings. So spirit confirming that. One, new beginning. Ace of coin, new beginning. Ace of cups, new beginning. Abundance, wealth, prosperity, career, finance. And then you got love over here. So let me yang. I'm just going to read a little tiny bit about yang. Uh, the masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen, taking action. Wow, we were just talking about that, about being a little stuck right now and not really taking action, but there's a need to take action because you have all this new waiting for you new abundance happiness joy prosperity wealth financial gain truth clarity 
standing up for you. You have to stand up for yourself. Cut away things that are no longer serving you. So you can move on and finish the symphony. Have victory. If it's not a new person, then it can be just self-worth, self-love. Wow. The Oracle's message, Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life. New, new. And is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. So it does have a relationship message here. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make this the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement toward your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air. And wands do represent uh, fire energy, which is very passionate, creative, energetic. Um, they go after what they want and desire with much um, energy and drive. And they usually are very successful. Passion is in the air, and now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Wow, an unfinished symphony. Oh, my God. <laughs> and a brand new love. Wow. I'm just saying. Wow. Take the lead. And then we have prosperity message. Projects, partnerships, and all matters relating to your business are out of the obstacle phase and onto the make it happen phase. Now is the time to stake your claim and get things done. While you can expect to be busier than usual, this card tells you that you have all the energy and vitality you need to accomplish your goals. And we were just talking about that. You need to stop holding back and take action to accomplish your goals, to finish that symphony, and to be victorious here. You have all this waiting for you. The two palaces, two brand new beginnings. Ten of cups, ten of coin. Abundance is waiting for you to claim it. Wow. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Abundance. But you're holding back from your victory. You're not living out your truth. You're not seeking out your truth. You're not coming forward with your truth. You're not cutting ties that are binding you. Or maybe you are or in the process of doing that now. So... With the 10 and then the ace and then the 10 and the ace, the 10s are about completion. You may be coming out of a relationship situation and a career situation and having situation, having two brand new beginnings here that are totally abundant, fruitful, prosperous, happiness, joy, faith, optimism. Wow. Wow. Cards never lie. They, they never lie, and they always reconfirm what I say. So thank you, Spirit, for that. So, Sagittarius, that was your February 2019 general reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. That was your secret message. Again, if you liked it, please comment, share, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. So best of luck to you. Good luck to you in whatever you're setting out to accomplish here and uh, move forward and finish that symphony and go after what it is that you want. And I wish you many light, love, and blessings. And look at the light here. So as I always say, shine your light.